Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back and we are here to break down Friday's NBA slate for December 22nd of 2017. I don't have as much time to sit here today. Um, I have work. Um, I just got off. I, I finished class last night, so I stayed up pretty late and then I slept. I did not set an alarm today. I just let myself sleep in. So I just got up today at 1 o'clock. Uh, so we're going to run through these pretty quickly because I do have work at 2 uh, so this will be a little bit faster than we normally run through games, but let's hop into this. So starting off, we have the New York Knicks against the Detroit Pistons. So starting off with the Knicks, Jarrett Jack, uh, interesting. He had a pretty good game to start last night. I believe he had 6-2-4 and four in the first, and then he kind of dudded the rest of the game, but... Uh, not a bad game. He's been a little bit more consistent uh, over the last few games than he was uh, kind of before when Frank Nitalikina was stealing all his minutes. Uh, that's about it for there. Courtney Lee. Courtney Lee's price is about right. Um, it's a good GPP price because he does have 40-point upside, but not anything for cash. Uh, moving on to forwards. Um, Michael Beasley. B. Easley, um, I have interest in him. He's just been going off. Uh, he went off in the fourth quarter last night against Boston. Um, probably more of a GPP play than a cash, especially at 5K. It's not like he's going to play a ridiculous amount of minutes, uh, so he's going to have to get there. He's going to have to be about a fantasy point per minute, a little bit over a fantasy point per minute guy to get there. Uh, Cantor had a decent game last night to start, uh, but once again, another guy that just ended up uh, kind of dudding the rest of the game. I believe he had... Eight and seven in the first quarter, and then only put up six and three the rest of the game. Uh, Porzingis dudded last night, but still a good matchup tonight against the Pistons. Should draw Tobias Harris, which is a, isn't a great matchup, I guess overall, but it's not a horrible matchup against Tobias. But that's gonna do it for that. No interest at the center position, and we move on to Detroit. So the Pistons. I uh, have interest in Andre Drummond, draws a good matchup against Ennis Cantor, uh, probably won't go there tonight, but uh, a good matchup at his price is below 9k, which is good. When his price was over 9k, that was a little bit of a, a little bit of a burden. Avery Bradley remains out, so they'll stick with this, like, four-man rotation at, at shooting guard, uh, Stanley Johnson, Reggie Bullock, uh, Langston Galloway, and Luke Kennard, uh, so I don't want any part of that. Uh, Reggie Jackson at 5,500 has some tournament appeal, but that's about it. Just not playing that minutes. He's just splitting too many minutes with... <coughs> Sorry, guys. Split too many minutes with Ish Smith. Um, moving on to forward. Um, I think I'm just going to pass on all of the forwards. Maybe you could look at Tobias, but I'm not going to go there. So that's an easy game. Moving on to the Pelicans and the Magic. So this is an easy thing with the... With the Pelicans, it's always Boogie, it's always Brow, Holiday, and Rondo. Um, there's not much more that you got to talk about with the the Pelicans. I think it's like 80% of the usage is those four guys. So just use one of those four guys if you want to play someone here. Drew, nice price on Drew Holiday at 7,300. Um, I personally probably won't go there, but it's not a bad price. Uh, Rondo. Has that 50 point upside, but he also has this like six point downside with no minutes played. So, um, we'll have to see about that. But I would say a hard pass on Rondo tonight. There's some nice value. So, moving on, Cousins, Davis. I don't really need to talk about Boogie and Davis. They're not my favorite stud. They're not even in like the top three favorite studs of the night, but they're fine. They should get it done, I guess. Uh, and so, yeah, Boogie boogie Brow, GPP is not cash. Moving on to the Magic. So we have Aaron Gordon. I believe he's doubtful. Is Gordon doubtful? Yeah, he got downgraded to doubtful yesterday. We have uh, Evan Fournier doubtful as well. They both got downgraded to doubtful. So for video purposes, we'll assume they're both out. Which bumps Jonathan Simmons and... Uh, Nikola Vucevic. Uh, Vucevic, though, went down in price, so that helps, but he draws a tough matchup against the uh, Boogie Brow combo. So I doubt I go to Vooch tonight. Uh, Jonathan Simmons gets an interesting matchup. Should draw Dante Cunningham or Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday, good defender, so I'd rather have him up against Dante Cunningham. Um, so that's interesting. And then Elf at 5,600 finally had a decent game that last time out. 
uh, was unable to complete the triple double. I believe he was close in like the third, and then the game was a blowout, so he didn't do anything in the fourth. So that was the issue for Elf. Um, yeah, he just he, he if he gets the triple double, what is that? That's three, uh, five, eight. It's like ten more points. Uh, no, it's like twelve more points. So he gets forty-seven. That's crushing, but. I don't know. Um, Elf always a tournament play, but that's about it. Moving on to Washington. We don't have many injury news here, really. Uh, Porter, I believe, is is questionable, but I think he's more than probable. I think he's around probable to play. Um, and so, if Porter's back, I really don't have anybody in any interest here with anybody except maybe Wall and Beal. They draw a nice matchup against the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, should be pace up game for them. Um, what's Gort? Yeah, maybe Gortat at 5200, but he's just not playing minutes. Um, if Gortat was getting 30 minutes regularly, I would look at him. But with like Flores at like 24 minutes, he really can't get. He's gonna he's gonna get value, I guess, for cash if you want to look at value at 5x. But he's he can't get there as in he can't win you the slate and get you 35 or 40 and, and win you cash games. So. I don't know. I don't have interest in him, but Bradley Beal, interesting here at 7,500, needs about 40 to hit value, and with John Wall back, he's been playing a lot better, draws the nice matchup against Brooklyn, so he's a very interesting option, but there's a better guy, 7K, that I like. It, it's kind of the issue with these guys that are priced up. There are some just really good locks and loads at the top, so kind of hurts their appeal. So moving on to Brooklyn. Uh, pretty much no interest here. Spencer Dinwiddie, if you play anyone, but other than that, just zero interest in any of these guys. Um, that's pretty much it. If you're going to stack the game, I guess you could use Rondé Hollis Jefferson, Dinwiddie, and maybe like uh, uh, maybe Alan Crabb or Julio Okafor. But other than that, not using any of those guys. So moving on to Atlanta. Dwayne Dedman and Mike Muscala are out. Uh, John Collins and Miles Pumley, I guess, are your options. John Collins if anybody, uh, but I'm probably not going there. Um, Collins has been a pretty good fantasy point per minute producer when he gets minutes, um, so he's something to look at as the day goes on, but I don't think I will need him, but he's a very nice play today. Bazemore and Prince, interesting. Um, I'd be more interested in the one... I'll have to look because I don't look enough at Bazemore Prince. Whichever one plays small forward is the one that I'd be interested in. The one that avoids... Uh, Andre Roberson. Um, I know Paul George is a good defender, but Roberson I think is a little little better than PG, and I think PG cares a little bit less about defending on the Thunder than he did on the Pacers. Uh, Dennis Schroeder, questionable. Um, he went through shoot around this morning, so I expect he plays, but if he sits, take a look at DeAndre Bembry and Isaiah Taylor, who should pick up extra minutes with him out, or Malcolm Delaney. Malcolm Delaney, I guess, and Isaiah, I forgot Malcolm Delaney. Malcolm Delaney and Isaiah Taylor should pick up, how many, what's the, let me, let me do the breakdown in the minutes. 32 minutes. They should probably pick up about 16 each. You know, wait, they should pick up about 14 each. That's 28. And then Bembry will probably pick up about four extra minutes. Moving on to the Thunder. Russell Westbrook against the Hawks. Westbrook against uh, Dennis Schroeder. Um, I do like Westbrook, but still, once again, not one of the top options to pay up for. He's probably third or fourth on the slate. Uh, like I always say, PG, Mello, interesting for GPPs, not cash. And then Steven Adams, I believe he played and had no minutes restriction. Against, yeah, he had a minutes restriction against Utah. Let's, get, let, let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. He did have a minutes restriction. Uh, so, until he plays a game in the 30s, I'm not touching him. Okay, so this has gone pretty well. Moving on to Dallas. No one is out on Dallas, so that makes Dallas easy. Harrison Barnes is about it. Maybe a little Wes Matthews, but really, Harrison Barnes, Wes Matthews, and then tournament flyer Maxi Kleber. Because if he gets to 30 minutes, he'll probably cl crush. If not, then he's going to suck. So those are your options. Kleber, GPPs, Wes Matthews, GPPs, Cash, Harrison Barnes, GPPs, Cash. But I don't think you need them today. That's kind of the issue with today's slate is like, oh, you don't really need these guys. So it really just comes down to the, the end. We're almost there. Okay, so moving on to the Miami Heat. Um, we got Goran Dragic. He has officially been ruled out, which is good. He will not play tonight. So that reduces the rotation down again because he's out. James Johnson is out. Uh, Justice Winslow should be out, I believe. 
Uh, where is it? Just, I guess he's still questionable. Just as Winslow is question. Oh, yeah, he will not play. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. He wouldn't play. Okay, so Winslow is out. Johnson is out. Hassan Whiteside out. So, now it's all price-based. Richardson and Waiters coming at 6K. Not bad prices. Tyler Johnson at 5,400. If Tyler Johnson could hit a freaking shot, he would crush his price, but he can't hit a shot. Two of eight. Uh, he shot it. Actually, he shot well against Atlanta, but he shot 0 of 5 from 3. That's what I was remembering. So he shot 0 of 5. But if he could have made a freaking shot last game, he would have taken more, and then he would have had a better game. But uh, probably. I don't know. Dallas is a pace down. I'll probably just fill in my lineups with these guys if I need them. Um. I think Richardson and Waiters and Johnson are safe. They're about the only guards that are going to play. They're going to play. There's three guard spots. Three guys are going to play. Four guys are essentially going to play. Johnson, Waiters, Richardson, Ellington, and then Derek Walton will play a few minutes. Um, you can see he's played seven minutes. He's pretty much just been a couple of relief minutes uh, here and there. So it's about four guys at the guards and Derek Walton seven minutes. Moving on to forward. I guess Kelly-O, Kelly -O, who went nuts against the uh, against the Celtics in the revenge game, put up 48, put up 32 real-life points. Um, probably won't go there. Jordan Mickey still sitting at 39, and Bam Adebayo sitting at 43. They're interesting. Once again, I don't know if you need them. I'll probably use the guys that I want and then fill in with Miami. So that's kind of how it goes. It's, Bam, it's, it's the same guys. It's the same small rotation. Bam Adebayo, J Jordan Mickey. Kelly Olenek, Dion Waiters, Josh Richardson, Tyler Johnson, Wayne Ellington, and that's about it. I guess you can count. You can count um, Derek Walton, but it's really seven-man rotation in Miami. Okay, moving on to the Clippers. Uh, Blake out, Gallo out, Wes Johnson out, uh, Miles Teodosic going to rest on the on the on the back-to-back. All right, it's the back-to-back, -back, right? I think, yeah, it's the back-to-back. -back. So he's going to rest tonight, which makes it interesting for Austin Rivers, Jawan Evans, Lou Will. Um, in a nice pace-up game, the question is, can they stay in it? I think they can. Uh, and without Clint Capella, which I'll get into the next one, that makes DeAndre Jordan at 7,800 interesting. Um, I know, it's just a bunch of... Okay, they're interesting, but are they good? Interesting. Decker, kind of interesting. Um, I think my favorite play is probably Austin Rivers at 5,600 and Lou Williams at 72. I think those are my two favorite plays. A um, bunch of more guys, I guess, that are just kind of meh. They're okay, but they're not They're not great. Um, so we have CP3 out for the Rockets. So... James Harden, kind of lock and load. It's going to be last year's James Harden. Eric Gordon, I wish he was still fork. I wish he didn't explode these last two games. Because he would not be 5,900. He would be 4,700. But he went off these last two games, so it kind of screwed you. And I don't know if I want to play Eric Gordon for 5,900. Trevor Ariza had his one ceiling game last game, but I'll probably go back to him in cash. He's just way too consistent in getting 25 points, and for that price, to lock in 25 points. I know it's not value, but to lock in 25 points with um, room for upside, I think, is a nice way to go in cash tonight with Trevor Ariza. Let's see here. At forward, we have P.J. Tucker, Ryan Anderson. I believe Clint Capella is doubtful. Yeah, he is doubtful for tonight. It depends on if he sits. If he's in, I'll probably play Capella because he should score and he should get a lot of usage. If he sits, Nay Nay becomes interesting. Ryan Anderson, who sucked it up last game, becomes interesting, but I probably won't go to Ryan Anderson, let's be honest. P.J. Tucker. It should be a small rotation. It should be Anderson, Tucker, Ariza, uh, Harden. Eric Gordon, Nene, a little Tark Black, and a little Bobby Brown, I think. Um, I'm interested to see... Oh, they already said that Eric Gordon would start, so that kind of screws things up. I would have liked to see a Bobby Brown. I would have liked to see Bobby Brown or Demetrius Jackson start. I would have had interest in them, but... Without them, I, I just can't trust them off the bench to see enough minutes to get value. So I'll probably have Tucker, Ariza, Harden at least into my cash games. If if uh if what's his face, if um 
Capella plays, then I'll probably have Capella if he doesn't have a minutes restriction. Moving on to Charlotte. Kemba Walker, under 7K. Ooh, I might have to make a GPP and play Kemba. That's just, that's just, I know he's been bad, but that just seems egregiously underpriced for Kemba. Um, I know he's got, uh, people think he's got some sort of little injury nagging him in his shoulder. But GPP-wise, I probably had to go to Kemba. Batum, I talked about this before with his usage with the second unit running the point. Interesting GPP option. And then, obviously, Dwight, 7,600 against John Henson or whoever they throw out there against him. Uh, should be an interesting matchup for Dwight. But those are my three for the Hornets. We're running out of time here, so we'll move on to the Bucks. Giannis, probably the fourth best option up top. Uh, Chris Middleton always seems to find his way to a nice value. Uh, draws a matchup against Nicholas Batum, so not... Not an awful matchup, and so definitely have interest in Middleton, but once again, probably doesn't make the cut tonight. Uh, Eric Bledsoe, 6,700, nice GPP option, but nothing more than that. And then John Henson, a nice little option uh, at 4,400, not a bad option. He should have to play some minutes tonight. Um, can probably find his way to 25 points pretty easily. Moving on, Denver-Portland, no one out for Denver. Uh, Gary Harris is questionable, Moody is questionable, I think that's it, yeah, that's it, uh, so, Jokic is still kind of in limbo land, he's not playing, uh, oh, he actually got 36 minutes, never mind, he got 36 minutes on Wednesday, um, there we go, okay, okay, phone, my phone's alarm is going off, so, Jokic is for, I did not notice that Jokic, but he didn't even do anything in his 36 minutes, Put up 35 and a half points. He had 10 turnovers, so outlier. But that's still only five points off. If he doesn't turn the ball over, he only scores 40. So it's not like he he crushed. But that's an interesting spot for Jokic against Portland. Um, should draw a Minu Nurkic defense. So that makes him interested. Other than that, I don't have anybody interested in the last Gary Harris and Moody Asit. Then I would have a lot of interest in Torrey Craig, uh, Jamal Murray, and Will Barton. Um... And Trey Lyles, probably. But other than that, not a whole lot of interest in anybody. Craig has been getting an extreme amount of run. I don't really know why. It says they want to they wanna find out what they got in him, but I don't really know why you're playing Torrey Craig. 37 minutes against Minnesota. Moving on to Portland. We have my boy Damian Lillard out tonight, which brings in Shabazz and Napier. So the... The, the the Blazers don't have any other point guards unless Wade, yeah, Wade Baldwin, Baldwin, guy, I can't talk, Wade Baldwin did not get recalled, so it is literally Shabazz Napier, CJ McCollum, that's it. That's who's running point. So I'll be interested to see if they start both of them or if they start McCollum at the point and plug someone else in the starting lineup and then let Napier run the second unit. We probably don't get that before lock, so that's kind of the issue. Um... Well, other than that, not a whole lot of interest. Maybe an Evan Turner who may get a lot to handle the ball a little bit, but it doesn't really help. And it, it's it's a usage bump for everybody, but it probably gets spread around to everybody. Uh, do have some interest in Nurkic with the usage bump, but I don't really think he can kill you tonight, so I probably won't go there. Uh, much rather pay seven hundred more for a Capella or a thousand more for a Middleton, Howard. Um, type type guy so it's really just napier mccollum and turner for me maybe pat Connaughton gets a little bit more run so he would be interesting um he saw a little bit of a, a he didn't really see an extended run but he did see a lot of the minutes when lillard he was the guy that checked in when lillard came out so that's interesting to note moving on to the lakers contavious caldwell pope is available to play tonight because it in, is in the state of california um I don't really think I have, uh, I guess we can go back to Julius Randle, the nightmare that was Julius Randle in his 6.25 points against Houston. We can go back there, he's only 5,400, process says he should play, um, I don't know though, Kyle Kuzma got extremely hot, I think I'm playing Kuzma, uh, needs 30 to hit value, uh, he's been getting around that pretty consistently with 40 point upside. I don't expect the 50, but the 40 is not out of question. It's not like this is a crazy game for a guy that played 30 some 40 minutes, 25, 6, and 3. Not a crazy game. So I'll probably head back to Kyle Kuzma at 6,300. Um, it's kind of depending on some of the injury news, but I'll just put it like that. Know that this is my opinion as of 1.23 in the afternoon. Uh, Lonzo Ball, interesting at 7,000. 
think that's about it. Moving on to the Warriors. Oops. Uh, starting with the centers, Draymond Green looks like he's good to go. He will play Friday against the uh, against the Lakers, so I'm firing up Draymond. He's been sitting. He said he was healthy. There should be no minutes restriction. Um, it does not say if he. I'll have to find out if he has a minutes restriction or not. If he doesn't have a minutes restriction, I'm all in on Draymond Green. Um, without Curry, he has been lights out in the games he's been able to play. And so I will be all aboard the Draymond Green train. He should take over as point guard, um, especially if Livingston is out, which I believe Livingston is doubtful. Um, yeah, he is doubtful for tonight. And then Iguodala is doubtful as well. Oh, he got upgraded to questionable. Okay, got upgraded to questionable last night. He was doubtful most yesterday. But even if Iggy plays all in Draymond Green and probably all in Durant, if I can fit Durant Green and uh, Harden, it'll be a good night. But that's going to be hard to fit because it's like 30000 of your salary. Um, so, or no, like twenty seven or 26000 of your salary. Let me get it. No, it's about thirty. If you go 11, 6... I think Harden is 11-4, so that's 12-23. Yeah, it's 30,400. Um, with uh, with uh, Draymond Green coming back, my interest in everybody goes down a little bit. Maybe still have a little bit of an interest in an Omri Caspi, but other than that, no interest whatsoever in most of these guys. Uh, Zaza remains questionable. If he comes back, I have no interest in anybody but Draymond and Durant. Even though Zaza doesn't play a lot of minutes, it's still like 18 minutes that someone else can't play. So, that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the abbreviated video, but I wanted to get you guys something uh, opposed to nothing. It was nothing or this, because I have to go to work. And by the time I get off work, it is past lock. Um, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be back with a full blank pod. I'll probably do it tonight for tomorrow's slate. Um, I have work again tomorrow, uh, which is one of my last days of work for the whole entire Christmas break, which will be nice. And then I uh, and then I have a family thing tomorrow. Uh, so I'll probably have to do it tomorrow night, but you will get a full breakdown for the Saturday slate. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.